Hey everybody, good afternoon. This is a long overdue post. First of all, I wanna thank everybody for your prayers, your support, whether it was uh, financially or just sending cards, encouragement, uh, as this has been a, a journey for sure. Uh, this is a raw video. I've not got anything scripted. I've not got any words behind the phone. I'm just uh, telling you right straight from the heart that God is good. Uh, I went on uh, three different occasions, November 23rd, December 21st, and uh, Tuesday of last week to uh, confirm everything that God has been doing and working in my life. So uh, the doctors pretty much have told me that uh, I have adenocarcinoma, which was what my prostate uh, turned out to be, the cancer. Uh, that is pretty common in, in what they, they uh, deal with, with prostate cancer. However, there was a three-quarter inch tumor that had started to grow inside my prostate, uh, trying to metastasize towards my bladder. And that is small cell carcinoma. Uh, small cell carcinoma is very, uh, it's very dangerous. It's highly aggressive, uh, likes to attack the lungs, the brain, um, kidneys. Uh, so they were super concerned about that at, up at Duke at the tumor board. But you know what? My God is, is amazing. My God is, is real. And uh, my God hears prayers. Do I believe that he could supernaturally heal me uh, at the very beginning of all this? Absolutely, I do. Uh, but God just chose a, a different direction. Uh, he's given me a testimony, and I have shared that with, with, with some folks and some churches. Um, look forward to continuing to tell of God's goodness in all of it because too many things could have went wrong. Too many things did try to go wrong. Satan tried to sift me and my family in so many different directions, but God was there every step of the way. And God is all powerful. He can't match wits. Um, Satan can't match wits with him. Uh, Satan is not as powerful as him. God is limited Satan's power. But through all this, God had a plan, a plan for this situation to be able to show glory to him uh, in adversity, to be able to tell others that even in adversity, you can still witness to people. I witness to people in the hospital. Uh, I witness to doctors. Uh, I witness to nurses. I witness to everyday people um, that I never would have gotten the chance to do so had this not uh, happened to me. So I actually thank God for this journey. Uh, thank you most of all for for his love and his strength that he's given me and for saving my soul because I have got that peace, that peace that transcends all understanding that the Bible tells us about, and it has given me peace throughout this whole journey. And so I'm very grateful for the peace of God. I'm also grateful for my wife. Uh, she's been my caretaker, been by my side through all of this. Uh, I don't know how I would have done this without her help. Alongside of that, my family has been very supportive, and so I love them. I thank them for helping me uh, in this road to recovery, um, still, still a ways to go, but I'm getting there. So when I went for the original appointment, they referred me to a bladder oncologist uh, the day before Thanksgiving. And he pretty much said, I bet you're wondering why you're here. He went through the whole explanation again of what, what they found. Uh, they took the prostate out intact. And however, in doing so, they did find some other things. They took some nodules out as well. Uh, lymph nodes, I think, as well. Um, may not have that exactly right, but regardless, they, they took everything that they felt like they needed to take out. So he told me that um, the tumor board meets quite frequently to talk about, of course, cancer and about tumors. And he said, um, you know, the small cell is something that is something they need to keep a watch on uh, very closely. And so he said, first things first, you know, he said, we can attack this with radiation we can attack it with chemotherapy. We can uh, even go, uh, you know, to look at possible surgeries in, in the future. Uh, but right now we need to do a PSA test and see see what's going on. And so we thought that was kind of funny. My wife even asked him, she says, why do you do another PSA test? Because his bladder's been, I mean, his prostate's been removed. And uh, basically, you know, he said, well, now it's a key indicator of any cancer in the body. And so uh, he ordered the blood work. We, we uh, went downstairs, had that done. Um, the, fo the folks at Duke, I can't say enough about, they've been top notch all the way. Very compassionate people and very caring people. Uh, so I I'm thankful for them. Um, coming home, uh, we kept checking, Sherry kept checking the portal. Um, the doctor told us, he said, if it's a 
uh, a two or greater, he says that means you have cancer present in your body somewhere. He said if it's a one to a two, then uh, you're in remission. He said anything less than a one pretty much means you're cancer free. So to be honest, uh, as I've shared in my testimony, I really didn't want to know the results. Um, I, I didn't like the thoughts of chemotherapy and, you know, and, and God, I knew God had a plan through all this, but I'm human. And so uh, to try to keep this video short, I won't go into all the details. Uh, other than when the report came, I heard Sherry kind of gasp a little bit, uh, made me gasp a little bit as well because I was thinking this is probably not good. However, God is good and that report came back less than hear me now less than 0 0.01 isn't god good folks glory to god praise god that he chose uh, this method that uh, this journey and that he chose to heal my body so i'm healed i'm cancer free in jesus name right now and you know how a lot of times uh, when jesus healed like like uh, like the lepers he would say go show yourselves um you know so that that you can the, the priest can look at you and say wow you are healed well i i showed myself three times to duke uh, as i said earlier and each time the report has come back less than 0 0.01 god's just showing off and i love him for it went and had the ct scan done as well as as my um, last tuesday from my chest uh, area from my my neck down to my waist he said, uh, man, I'm telling you, um, nothing there is even identifiable. So again, glory to God. That's just uh, just another testimony right there of his goodness. So three times now, three times. Three times is important, folks. Uh, number three is important in the Bible. So uh, I'm, I'm grateful that I've been able to go uh, and, and, and confirm three times now that I'm cancer free. I, I still have struggled a little bit, folks, just to be honest with you. Um, you know, the incontinence thing is, is, is a pain, but I feel like God will heal that in time. Uh, right now, it's a thorn in my side, and I'll just deal with it. That's all I know to do uh, and trust Him for the results. Um, you know, there's times when I have definitely not, not been probably the man of God that I should have been, and, and through, throughout all of this, I've trusted Him, but, you know, again, I'm human, and so now I'm... Uh, I've hit the reset. I'm refocusing. I'm trying to get my, my not only my head, my heart, and my thoughts together, but also my heart together, and know that uh, I'm called for a higher calling, and I need to tell of His goodness to other people. So, be encouraged. God is good. Uh, thank you guys so much for your prayers. Thank you so much again for your support, uh, whether it's cards, texts, um, whether it, it, it was financial means. Uh, I still am going to have to go every three months to get this thing, you know, checked and rechecked and more scans and all that. But you know what? I can't wait because all the results I know is going to be, Cameron, you're cancer free. We just don't understand it, but you're cancer free. And I'm just going to say, you don't know who my God is. Amen. So uh, anyway, that's that's my story. And, uh, and, and please feel free to share as much as you want. Uh, feel free to comment. Feel free to send me messages. If you need encouragement, by all means, send me a private message. I'll be glad to to speak with you or, or to send you a message back and encourage you, especially if you're struggling uh, through all of this. Uh, I, I definitely know what that is like now. Um, before, it was hard for me to really, I, I would try to have empathy as much as I could and sympathize, but until you walk in the shoes of someone who who has heard the doctor say you have cancer, it's really hard to place yourself there, just like it is hard to place yourself if you're ever in a situation and uh, where you know you've lost a, a really close loved one or, or even a child. Uh, it's so hard to uh, to really understand what that person is dealing with, unless you have experienced it yourself. And so, um, God has chose Sherry and I for for some very difficult journeys, but He's been with us every step of the way, and I can promise you, He'll be with you as well. Uh, I love I love all you guys. Uh, I love being able to know that I'm going to see my daughter grow up and her husband and family continue to grow, and that hopefully one day I might even get to marry my grandkids to the to the you know to the God sent person in their lives. Who knows? But I'm so proud of all of them as well. But uh, again, trying to keep this message short, just want to thank you again and say I love you. Take care.